Welcome once again, everybody. I think you know it's time for the rounds. Welcome to the Brew There, Drank That family. My name, of course, is Glenn. And uh, today we're swinging out to Lyons, Colorado for, for something pretty damn tasty. Um, we're going to take a look at uh, the Gnite Ale from Oscar Blues Brewing. Now, uh, this is actually a fantastically done beer. Uh, they consider it a double red ale. Although, truth be told, I would have I would have guessed it to be a uh, an Imperial IPA. Um, what we've got here is 8.7% alcohol by volume, 60 IBUs. But the IBUs are really, really deceptive on this one. Um, and I'll explain them to you why in just a second. We've got a gorgeous hue, uh, filtered but thick. Um, and you can actually... You can tell that that's got a good bit of body to it. Uh, off, off white head, almost a little orangey in the head. Uh, very, very well done. Uh, I said 60 IBUs is deceptive, and I think that's very true in this instance. You get a malt sweetness and just a, a citrusy, piney punch of hops right at the end. The mouthfeel of this sucker is what I find so damn enjoyable. Um, the, the can says, still big, still red, still sticky. Um, and that's exactly true. Uh, I'm going to guess there's a hearty dose of Cascade hops in here that's contributing to that sticky mouthfeel. Uh, but fantastically done. Now, Gordon Knight was a Vietnam veteran. Not only was he a Vietnam veteran, uh, he actually passed fighting a wildfire in Colorado uh, just a short distance from the brewery. And obviously, he had quite the impact on the guys here at Oscar Blues. There is a good bit of malt backbone to this, a good bit of malt sweetness. But the way they got the hops to play with that malt does really provides that kind of, that very sticky mouthfeel. It sticks to your teeth, it sticks to your tongue. And doesn't really go anywhere. So, if you were looking for a food pairing for this, I'm definitely going to have to suggest something with a bit of kick to it. Something that can really hold its own. Uh, curry, um, any any variation of like a really spicy and thule sausage. Um, but you definitely can use this as a palate cleanser when you're taking on bigger, heartier dishes. Uh, fantastically done. Uh, it comes in a four pack. And... Without sounding overly bitchy, I am iffy on the price point. This isn't one I buy all the time. Uh, your price point for a four-pack of cans is coming in anywhere between 9 and $11, probably more 10 to 11 And with the money that's saved by the breweries on this canning process, I just find it hard to believe that you would still need to charge $11 for a four-pack or $10 for a four-pack. Uh, to me, it would it would seem very easy to do a six pack at that same price point, you know. But that's that's more up for you guys to decide. You're the consumers, and you're my awesome viewers. So give me an opinion. Tell me what you think. If you guys have had this, I'd love to see a comment. If you guys haven't had this, definitely recommend getting out and supporting Oscar Blues. They've been one of the big proponents of pushing canned craft beer. And the whole idea of doing that is that it opens up the places where you can take it. Uh, craft canned beer makes it poolside safe, makes it, uh, makes it boat friendly when you can't take glass on boats. Um, a whole variety of options. Uh, it does tend to make taking beer on a hiking trip a bit easier or a picnic. Um, and you still get fantastic beer and you don't have to support the big two. So you're making a difference in your local economy and the American economy. fantastically done and just as the can says big sticky red awesomeness um, here's to Gordon good day folks and good night we'll see you over our next pint